It's easy to make V-carve signs in Fusion 360, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. We're gonna be making this sign from start to finish, and by the end, you'll be able to make your own V-carve sign, house numbers, family name signs, and even coat rack. Let's jump right into Fusion 360. We're gonna click on this top plane, and we'll create a new sketch right on it. We're gonna do a rectangle. Make sure that it is attached to the origin. And we're going to make it five and a half by 18. Okay. Now we can extrude it to three quarters of an inch, which will basically just be a stock piece of wood from Home Depot. Now we'll create a sketch on this top plane the top of the wood, and we're going to use the offset tool. We're going to click on this perimeter and we're going to go in minus 0.5. And this gives you enough area to use your hold down clamps. I'm going to set a fillet all the way around at 0.5. Oops. And then we'll do an offset of this at minus 0.2. And press OK. Now we'll extrude this border inwards. And for a simple shape like this, if you want to see what it'll look like as a V carve, you can do minus 45 so it's an inclusive angle. I think I used that term right. And we'll do a minus 0.2, press OK. And now we're going to work on creating the words. So we'll create a sketch on the top plane, get it kind of centered, and we'll add text. We'll make a text box, and we're going to kind of make it symmetrical and just make a box all the way around. And then for alignment, I'm going to do align center and align middle. The text, we'll make it all caps and welcome. And we're going to browse through the fonts. And to do that, you just hover over the font name and you can scroll down. We'll stick with Caladia just because it looks pretty nice. And we'll make it two inches. We'll press OK. And now we can kind of adjust where we want it. I'm going to click this green dot. And I'm going to just drag it straight up. And I can adjust this over. So we're pretty much in, so it looks like we're basically in the center. So I'm happy with that. And now we'll do a new sketch, same thing, text box. And once again, we're gonna kind of estimate where it should be. This might not be the most accurate way. If you really wanna go through and constrain these boxes, you can absolutely do that. I just find that it's not quite worth it. So for this one, we're gonna do established 2019. And I like to use dancing script for this one. Now, if you don't have dancing script and you want to get it, fonts.google.com. And here they have a ton of free fonts you can choose from. So back to this, we'll press OK. And we'll do the same thing. We'll grab this green dot and we'll just drag it up until it looks about where we want it right there, and I'm going to drag this one down a little bit. Make these two vertical. There we go. Adjust it. All right, and that looks pretty good for what I want. We'll finish sketch and we'll extrude these. We'll unclick the surface that it chose for us, <clears throat> then we'll click our two text boxes. And for this, you really can't do a taper angle. It yells at you and takes a ton of processing power. So we're just going to do negative 0.1. Press OK. And now you have a pretty solid idea of what your V-carve is going to look like. Now we're going to head right over to the Manufacturing tab. So click on Design, go to Manufacturing. And we'll create a setup. So we'll right click setup, 
new setup. It will automatically pick the piece that we're working with. And it defaults to using the center. I usually like to use the lower left corner. So we'll just click on our box point and then the left corner. Now we want to make sure that our stock is set up appropriately. So up here, click stock. We want relative and then we want zero, 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 zero. And this ensures that it is the size of wood that we're working with that we used originally in the design tab. Press OK. And now I'm going to show you the fastest way to get a VCAR sign completely programmed. Click on 2D and we're going to do engrave. I'm going to select our tool. Now I already have a 45 that is in here, but if you don't want to make your own, just head over to Amana Tools and they have a ton. Pick engraving and you'll see that they are not included angles. So what you want is a 45. Doesn't matter too much which one we pick. I'm going to go through and set it up for my machine. So I'll do 100 for the cutting feed rate, 75 for the ramp, and 50 for the plunge, and disable fluid. All right, now we can go to the geometry tab. And we're going to click face contour. We'll click this outside, and then we'll say select same plane faces. So it selects everything. everything that is on that plane. Now, if we do this, it'll look really funky because it is using this top corner. So we'll click use inner loops only. We'll press okay. So now all the V car parameters that we want are selected. For the heights, typically you can just leave this alone. It'll figure it out for you. And for the passes, if you want to do multiple passes, this is where you can do that. But for this program, I'm just gonna leave it unchecked. And for the linking, really not anything we have to touch here either. And press okay. And there you have it. You have a fully programmed sign. You can zoom in and see that it looks pretty darn good. Now the only thing we have to do is make some G code for it. We're going to right click on our VCarve and say create NC program. We're going to name it welcome sign. Then I like to do the size of the board and the bit I'm going to be using. And the only other parameter that I usually change from here is the safe retract and home position. I like to go to clearance height. So when the program is done running, it's just going to lift the end mill straight up and stop there. And then we'll say post. So that's the full process for designing a V carve sign in Fusion 360. Now the fun part is carving it out on the CNC. I'll show you exactly how I set up the stock, clamp it down and run the program in the next video. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. I'll see you for the next video.